Hello, my name is David Larson here in Floyd, Virginia, and we're in my Bugbook Computer Historical Museum. I'm a collector of historical microcomputers and been an amateur radio operator for 57 years. Along the way, we've managed to collect a few interesting artifacts in terms of vacuum tubes, some amateur radio uh, historical equipment, and I'd like to show you just a little bit about a very old tube checker today. It's a Jefferson Model 290. Very simple tube checker, about 19, built around 1926. And we'll come up and show you some close-ups of this and talk a little bit about it with our flying camera. We do have a small tube collection over here to the right of me, which uh, you can see a video on this if you really want to see it closely, but I'll just show you a couple of tubes in there as well. Uh, very interesting. There is an Edison light bulb in there with the Edison logo on it, so we're very happy with that. Well, here's the Jefferson tube checker, model 290. We just have a one tube here, but basically the way this functions is you uh, take the tube out of the socket it's in, put the tube in here, and then you take this and plug it in where the tube was. So you see that it actually puts this tube checker in line with the tube. And the tube is setting up here. And there's a meter on here, and we can monitor the uh, current that the tube draws. And um, here you see the logo of the device. Let's take it apart here a little bit. And a little bit rusty inside. After all, this is pretty old. If we turn this unit around, you can see the, I think you'll be able to see the 1917. So basically what happens is this device can measure whether the unit is drawing plate current or not. And uh, the presumption is that if it's drawing plate current, which you see on the meter, then it's working. However, that's a pretty simple test. and may not tell you too much. It doesn't tell the gain of the unit or anything. This unit sold for about $6 US in 1926. And there's some other websites um, that have some pretty good information. We'll put some links towards the end of this video and also on our text below the video. So if you'd like to uh, look at some more information on uh, the Jefferson checkers, just uh, give that a call. What we're going to do now is we're going to swing over and take a look at... We can actually see the label. I'm not sure we can, but right there is a Edison tube. Now this is not a vacuum tube. This is a light bulb. This is an Edison light bulb. And there is the uh, logo on it, Edison GE. Very nice to have here in our collection. And you can see a whole video on this collection if you'd like. It's a very interesting collection of old tubes.